videos. I'm going to be doing a bullet journal video and I'm going to do October because I have my autumn exams and usually I would do it like the day before or a few days before but today I'm doing it like a lot before because I need to have that space to forward plan and honestly it's just been so stressful and I even feel like guilty spending this time not really doing anything that's useful for my exams. Yeah, that's kind of the downsides of bullet journals. It takes a while to like draw out everything, uh, unlike a normal journal. So yeah, I'm just gonna watch some chemistry videos while I do this. But regardless, I'm just gonna do a more basic set out um, that will take me less time because as you can tell, I am just not um, at a leisurely pace right now. and time is of the essence and yeah um <laughs> but we move honestly and exams are happening they're imminent but it's fine it is absolutely fine and so let's go into the video plan what is coming so hello welcome to this voiceover i just started by doing oct because we know it's october you know and i just thought i'd go for a more one page and I did some kind of art where you just kind of swirl, get out that stress. I did my monthly overview really quickly and then moved on. So next I made a page for all of my exam times and I'm just trying to help myself to make it a less stressful process by making it look cute and I was doing that Y2K vibes like early 2000s. Then I just started my monthly, weekly... I went for a more Y2K vibe, that kind of 2000s colour scheme, pink, blue, green, pastels. I've got my chemistry, maths, chemistry, maths, and then two on one day, which whose idea was that, honestly? Um, but anyway, uh, then I just have that so that I can tick them off and I made massive circles and I just getting that those good vibes, like the childhood vibes of that kind of art style where it's just all cute and ugly smiles with like over exaggerated features but yeah these are the exams this page i will probably write quotes on but i can't be bothered right now and this one i know that i'm going to be doing the most in the upcoming week so i've just left massive spaces and also it was the month starts on a thursday so that is not ideal but then uh, for the rest of the month, I've just stuck to a very, very, very simple, very quick, very simple and quick um, layout. And I, again, want to fill in some Bible verses here or some quotes here. This one, I thought I was doing something different, but <laughs> anyway. And then I'm just going to end the month on the 29th because who needs another page? Not me. Yes, that is just my fast. This will be the least amount of effort I've ever put into a bullet journal spread. But as you can tell... Uh, I've got more important things to be spending my time on but this page is quite cute and you know when I'm like oh when is my exam I'll be like going to this cute page which is just invigorating Y2K vibes and just it's just great you know so that's what we love to so see. For this video I just wanted to add in my video that I made for September but I didn't upload it because I was overthinking it uh, but I really finished editing it so that was really bad but um you're gonna get it because I've decided it's it should be seen to the world and I was gonna put it on my IGTV but then I didn't do that either because my priority is not social media right now. The next part of the video will be my September spread which is literally so much better than the one you've just seen. So if you love this first part you would absolutely adore the second part. Be ready for the study with me's. I hope that everyone is studying um, or if you're not studying that you're enjoying life because it's probably gonna be a second lockdown and I have not been enjoying life um and it's gonna be another lockdown by the time my exam's over i hope everyone is safe and well uh, enjoying this part of the video thank you so much to everyone for subscribing i hit 1000 and it's just crazy like and i made my first video on september the 1st so it's so nice to see it we love to see it 1000 19th of august 2020 and yeah, this is kind of ugly but you know i appreciate the vibe into september i am going to be doing all of this so that i can plan my life for the autumn exams because they are very imminent too imminent for one to be comfortable so i need to be doing the most this bullet journal is just a great way for me to do that so these are my more autumnal mind liners and i think i'm going to choose this color because you know leaves autumn september vibes you know so these ones can go back i want to do a cursive font i don't know if i should just do it with a pen and just say yolo or if i should use 
the pencil and then rub it out. I found this cute font on Defon and then I used that pen straight in there. I was feeling really artsy like Paris, all of that, like Louis Vuitton. So I found that image and then just drew it in my own way. And I really enjoyed like using the lines and shading with lines and like outlining. So I wrote success instead of the brand because I'm just thinking positively and putting myself in a good mindset for the exam. So I went back in there with my mild liner and just wanted to make it really bold and standing out, like get some perspective in there and I just loved it, how it turned out. So again, I just did a calendar for the month so that I could have an overview of the entire month and what I was going to do on each day and I just filled it out using my February spacing, uh, though I messed up a bit but that's fine. Then I went back on that page and just took the time to write out some Bible verses that are relevant to me in this time of struggle and pain um, <laughs> when I was younger I would always highlight my bible and you know make notes on it and everything but as I've gone older it's just gotten to my phone so I thought I'd try to go back to the old ways and get some paper and really take the time to write them out think about them and just you know dwell on them you know so these aren't the most readable in my handwriting but hopefully this can encourage anyone that's struggling in these times because it is very testing and painful but at the end it will work out for good so next i moved on to my habit tracker and i have a bit of a turbulent relationship with these because Sometimes they can help you keep accountable and other times they just are completely unfilled. I put it back to basics and just did chemistry, maths, water and YouTube. I made a 24 hour thing to put my hours from Forest but I ended up just leaving that because the app already shows you very well. So back to the dreaded weekly setup. Uh, I did the hour by hour setup so that I could see what I was doing each hour of the day and keeping myself accountable. But this takes so long to fill out that it's not that enjoyable, but it's worth it in the long term. Yeah, it's actually so long drawing this all out, but it really does help to keep you accountable for each hour of the day and just notice the time passing more, though sometimes in lockdown I didn't really find myself actually opening it to fill it in perfectly, but, you know, taking the time to do it really helped me to dedicate myself more to it. I then went back and filled out all of the dates and then the times eventually just hour by hour. I made some space at the top so that I could have the overview goals of the day and I just alternated between the mild liner and a pen. Another quote, you know, just need those good vibes. And then I highlighted it, made it look a bit nicer, put some dodgy lines <laughs> and just continue to fill it out. So this is what I've done overall, just great vibes, honestly, like the colours, the schemes, the ratios of space just looks great.
I really would recommend a bullet journal to any students out there because it really just helps you to focus on what you need out of a planner. For me now as a science student kind of uh, it's kind of a creative outlet and just using some lines using my pens that I bought back in the day and it's just really good to help me keep on track and personalise to myself and I have the motivation to fill it out you know so that every day is looking good every page is full of all the things that I've been doing and it's like you want to tick things off so you'll just continue to go back to it so thank you so much for watching this video i hope it's helped you plan your month and that you all have a great day and i just want to leave you with this vibe verse see you in my next video bye